The praying mantis is an apex predator of the insect world. Besides birds and larger animals, few creatures can capture and eat this large, fast insect. So you'd think its problems are few as it hunts and feeds its own voracious appetite. But that's not true considering disease and parasites. And something is clearly off with this Carolina mantis as it waits on cedar foliage. The ragged hole in its abdomen suggests something wrong. And when a tachinid fly, attracted by the scent of the infected mantis, lands to feed, the answer becomes clear. Maybe the mantid's most important enemy is this kind of fly, known as Massophia confusa. It looks like a house fly, but it's much more dangerous. It finds its host, the praying mantis, where it lands and injects eggs into the mantis body. Fly larvae begin to grow, feeding inside the mantis abdomen on blood and organs. The mantid lives for a time, as invading larvae enlarge and affect it. Several weeks go by until the fly larvae mature. And now, through a torn opening in the mantis abdomen, more than a dozen of the grown maggots exit the mantis and fall to the ground, where they will pupate, overwinter, and emerge as adult flies next spring. Somehow, the mantis lives on for another day, now doomed and unable to survive. It crawls weakly over its plant until death finally frozen into a lifeless shell after the damage by its parasitoid. Nature always has ways of striking a balance. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors.